Hello everybody! A new video today, slightly different from what I normally do, and this is <clears throat> to speak about the uh, new AMD noise suppression or Radeon noise suppression that's uh, in the current or the latest version of the driver, which is 22.7.1. So simple thing, open up your uh, Radeon control panel, hit uh, check for updates, and you should be able to see an update here. Now, um, by default, uh, the Radeon drivers only update to the uh, preferred drivers. So the way to fix it would be is to, uh, you know, assuming you don't see an update, uh, would be to go to settings. Uh, and right here where it's under system, make sure that it's recommended plus optional. By default, it's always recommended only. Uh, but if you set it to recommended plus optional, <clears throat> it'll do those you know small patch uh, releases for the drivers. So once you hit the recommended plus optional, all you do is go to home, hit check for updates, and uh, it will update it to 22.7.1. Uh, during the install, uh, you know, it'll go through the install phase. It'll then uh, ask for a reboot. Uh, you reboot it, you come back in, and you know, you'll see that it's nowhere to be found, but it actually is. So again, if you go to settings, hit record and stream, uh, sorry, uh, if you go to settings, my bad, and audio and video, and right over here, so I have, uh, you know, by default, it comes disabled. So you enable it. It'll go through a small uh, tutorial, which you can, uh, you know, either view or not. But it's very simple. All you got to do is uh, select your input device. So in my case, uh, it's going to be my headset uh, microphone, which is the Realtek Audio, uh, you know, input source. And then... Um, we're going to set it to, you know, that to the input device. There's another option for the output device, which basically means is that uh, let's just say hypothetically you're playing a game uh, with somebody else, a friend of yours, a teammate uh, who doesn't have uh, any form of noise suppression there and you hear a lot of uh, ambient noise or, you know, white noise from their uh, microphone. So you can actually set uh, noise suppression on the output, meaning your speakers, your headphones, uh, you select it over here. So, you know, you can set it to uh, the speakers uh, and then I will basically get the noise suppression even on uh, people's audio who don't have noise suppression enabled or they don't have the functionality for noise suppression. So that's uh, step number one. Step number two is we need to go into um, uh, the Windows sound properties. So go here and your input device uh, by default, you know, it's going to be um, mine was at least a uh, Realtek audio, which is again, my headset, the microphone audio 2.0 is uh, right here, which is my cam, my webcam. Uh, and then once you install the, or enable the noise suppression, you will see here AMD streaming audio device. So, um, there we go. So it is actually, you've been hearing this whole video, uh, with the AMD streaming noise suppression, uh, enabled. What I'm going to do is real quickly is I'm going to disable it and, uh, we're going to try and see how this goes. So, uh, if I go to record and stream and if I go to advanced settings, uh, you know, here's the audio capture device. Let me switch this to my normal microphone, right? So like that. And I'll open up Notepad and we will do a quick test. So this is me typing while speaking. And, uh, you know, hopefully you can hear the um, keyboard typing over my speech. Um, let me also uh, do some mouse clicks. So again, here we go, clicking the mouse uh, with AMD noise suppression turned off. Okay, so that was the uh, sound turned off. Let's turn it on now. So we're gonna switch this back to um, default, which is the uh, AMD streaming audio device. So there we go. So it should be set to uh, AMD audio now. So again, there we go. So this is me typing while speaking. Hopefully this time you cannot hear the keyboard. Okay, and this is me clicking the mouse while speaking and hopefully you cannot or should not be able to hear uh, the mouse clicks. So as you can see, uh, AMD noise suppression works fairly well. 
the good news is that this is uh, AI ML uh, type of uh, application, which means that it should over time become slightly better because from what I understand, uh, this is actually being done locally on your computer uh, and the models are being trained locally on your computer as we uh, speak. So, so that's fantastic. Now, um, you know, I just want to do a little bit of a rant uh, that NVIDIA is actually really, really smart um, from my perspective. Uh, they invested in, uh, you know, their CUDA cores, a lot of AI optimization, acceleration, so as AMD, right? But, um, you know, the the HPCs or the high performance computing centers who use the NVIDIA cards for rendering or deep learning, uh, you know, uh, machine learning, uh, you know, they've got their CUDA stack and uh, very well known and a lot of people, uh, you know, use that. AMD also has something equivalent, if I'm not mistaken, which is uh, Rock M, uh, Vulkan, you know, all these other languages they have uh, that supports uh, OpenCL, uh, which uh, supports AMD acceleration. But I find that AMD really didn't market that to the end consumer like NVIDIA did, right? So um, NVIDIA had their market of the uh, enterprise, which, you know, they were already well entrenched in or are well entrenched in. They're the number one uh, out there right now. AMD is the competitor. They also have, uh, you know, similar function sets, uh, whatnot, but they've been focusing on the enterprise market. And I think this is the first foray into the consumer market, which is fantastic. Now, what I would like AMD to do is also, ha also to have something like uh, RTX video, right? Or RTX broadcast, uh, where, for example, my background here, it's not blurred, right? So um, again, because I'm using the built-in AMD um, recording tool, it would be really nice if I could get, you know, hardware accelerated background blur. So I think it's going to be coming. It's a little bit too late. Uh, well, it's never too late, right? Uh, I wish uh, AMD had released this uh, from the get go, but uh, better late than never. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you like the video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and as always, adios.